Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Taxtron unveils new Citation CJ4 Gen 2. Also, AEA completes 2020 year-end avionics market report. And Robinson's cockpit video camera now available. Thank you for joining us. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a very packed episode today, so let's go ahead and start with Textron unveils new Citation CJ4 Gen 2. Textron Aviation is taking orders for the Cessna Citation CJ4 Gen 2, with deliveries beginning immediately. The Cessna Citation CJ4, which achieved FAA type certification in 2010, remains a 525C type aircraft and has already received current interior certification for the CJ4 Gen 2. Redesigned, stairs with a lower point of entry, Handrail support and a customizable logo are among the upgrades. The refreshment center and galley area consists of improved storage options and an optional high power outlet accompanied by something super important for you coffee drinkers, a pull-out surface for a coffee maker. Additionally, extendable stone countertops are also available. In the jet's main cabin area, side-facing seat selections include a folding single seat, a fixed two-place couch, and a folding two-place couch which provide additional storage capacity to secure belongings in flight. The aircraft offers an upgraded wireless cabin management system consisting of an onboard media server with the ability to stream preloaded audio and video files, access XM satellite radio, and view of moving maps. As part of the new system, passengers can also wirelessly control cabin lighting, window shades, and temperature from their own mobile devices while productivity is powered by the USB charging ports at each cabin seat. After the break, Perseverance rover readies for Mars landing. I'll tell you how long was the journey after the break. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Introducing the new ELT-345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, boasts an industry low price, while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. So let's go ahead and start with Perseverance readies for Mars landing. After a nearly seven-month journey to Mars, NASA's Perseverance rover is slated to land at the red planet's Jezero crater on February 18th, chosen for its scientific research and sample collection capabilities. But the very feature that make the site fascinating to scientists also make it a relatively dangerous place to land, a challenge that has motivated rigorous testing here on Earth for the lander vision system that the rover will count on to safely touch down. A scary situation as the Coast Guard rescue skier mauled by a bear. The Coast Guard hoisted a man from backcountry near Haines Saturday after he was mauled by a bear. An MH-60 Jayhawk helicopter crew from Air Station Sitka hoisted the man who suffered injuries to his head and hands after being attacked on a mountain during a backcountry skiing outing. He was flown to Juneau and placed in the care of awaiting EMS. The helicopter crew located the man and two others in his party about 10 miles northwest of Haines at an elevation of 1,600 feet just above Shilkoot Lake. 
King Schools add another free online course to their roster. The school is offering aircraft marshalling instruction. Most people get this info under the tutelage of instructors and by chatting with other pilots or by watching the ramp as other airplanes came and went. The Kings have put together a course for free, no less, that covers this very topic. You'll learn an array of ground signals and other info you might see on a busy airport ramp and for free. JDF by six Bell 505s. Bell Textron has received a signed purchase agreement for six Bell 505 aircraft to the Jamaican Defense Force. The newly acquired Bell 505s will be configured to support public safety missions in the country and be used by the Forces Caribbean Military Aviation School to train international rotorcraft pilots. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. AEA completes 2020 year-end avionics market report. AEA has released its 2020 year-end avionics market report and total worldwide business and general aviation avionics sales from the year mounted to more than $2.2 billion as reported by the participating companies. The dollar amount represents a 26% decrease in total year-end sales compared to 2019, which set a record high total that topped $3 billion. It also marked the lowest amount of sales in the report's nine-year history. During the fourth quarter months of October, November, and December, sales decreased 28.1% compared to the same time frame one year ago. However, since COVID-19 began to negatively impact industry-wide sales near the end of the first quarter of 2020, the industry experienced healthy sales growth during the last six months of the year. For example, after total sales bottomed out in the second quarter of 2020, third quarter sales increased by 5.9%, with retrofit sales up 10.8% compared to the second quarter. That upward trend continued with fourth quarter sales increasing another 8.5%, with retrofit sales up 15.3% compared to the third quarter. Of the more than $2.2 billion in sales in 2020, 55.9% came from the retrofit market. After these messages, video cameras are now available inside Robinson's cockpit. Details after the break. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. If you want to know what's going on during a flight, Robinson's cockpit video camera now available. The use of in-cockpit video is accelerating and for a number of good reasons, especially in terms of flight training and other commercial operations where documentation and the ability to review a flight can have a number of significant benefits. Robinson's cockpit video camera introduced at Heli Expo 2020 is now optional on R-22, R-44 helicopters and standard on R-66 helicopters ordered after January 15th of this year. Securely mounted in the ceiling for minimal vibration and for optimal field view, the 4K Ultra HD video camera records video, intercom audio, radio communications, and GPS position 
to a removable 128 gigabytes USB flash drive. Recording starts automatically when the helicopter is turned on and stops when it's turned off. Recording video and or audio to the flash drive can be independently controlled with separate switches. The flash drive supplied with each camera stores approximately 10 hours of video and when the drive is full, the newest video automatically overwrites the oldest video. Recordings can be used as a training tool, maintenance aid, or aerial tour souvenir to share with family and friends. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.